Welcome back to another video. <laughs> you guys know what the TLC show is, Extreme Cheapskates. Okay, so I, this is not just a standard TLC reaction again, by the way. None of them are really standard, to be honest, but this is more of like something that happened that I find interesting. It makes perfect sense that TLC would do this to one of its past characters. Sometime over the last year or two years, whatever it was, I made a video about a show called Extreme Cheapskates. The character in said video was Kate Hashimoto. And I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. That was incredibly vulgar. She was crazy. She's so cheap. Maybe the cheapest of all cheapskates. She reuses toilet paper, allegedly, in the in the episode. Turns out that this is, you know, this is it's it's been overblown by TLC to the detriment of Kate, as often happens on TLC. Similar as to what happened to my friend Casey. Oh, okay, the title is the intro. I know I'm a is he? <gasps> is he naked? <laughs> these characters in these shows are portrayed in ways that is very bad because they're acting in a, in a certain way or they're being told to act in a certain way. They're given cues. It's fake. It's reality TV, but it's fake. It's all overall fake. There are some general truths to what's going on, but generally speaking, it's fake. And everyone who's been on TLC shares the same sentiment whenever they're not forced to sign NDAs or contractually obligated to not speak their truth, whatever. And like I said, it's the same case as with Casey. He's portrayed very poorly in the video, gets millions of views, and then real people hate this character in a TV show who is also a real person. It's loosely based on reality. There are a lot of aspects to Extreme Cheapskates, uh, Thousand Pound Sisters, Life by the Ton, that are all fake. It's proven. It's documented. It's real. TLC does make shows for entertainment purposes only. It's not actually called the Learning Channel. It's the 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 Lane Channel. That's what it's called. Pew, 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 pew. Got him, Frankie. And the same as happened to Kate. Hi, my name is Kate Hashimoto, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. A TV show went incredibly viral. Uh, it's meant for entertainment purposes. It's not a serious thing. She is very cheap. She has unique ways to save money, like reusing toilet paper, which is absurd. All right, not washing your undies. That's crazy. But there's more to it. And Kate has been, uh, there was a video made of her that I found fascinating. Uh, I saw it a few weeks ago, and I really wanted to make a video about it because I did an original reaction video to the, the Kate Hashimoto Extreme Cheapskates. That is a yee-yee-ass haircut. If I use a paper towel in a public restroom, oh, no. I'm drying off hands that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse, <gasps> reuse the paper towel many times. I pay to throw something That's away. That's insane. I oh, finished my place through picking up discarded furniture on the street. So I wanted to kind of tie it together and show you guys that I do try to care about these human beings that are in these terrible <laughs> dumb TV shows, despite our mutual exploitation of the situation. The woman in the show, the original episode of Extreme Cheapskates is named Kate Hashimoto. She grew up in a harsh environment and her mother would insult her on her weight and appearance relentlessly. She kind of says that it was because her mom wanted her to do well, but that doesn't, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But if my mom was just really insulting me, I don't think it's because she wants me to do well. But then again, my mom isn't a bitch. Just kidding, she is. <laughs> But not this mean. All in all, Kate did live a very cheap lifestyle as many people do in New York because it's an incredibly expensive place to live and why would you want to waste money on stuff that you don't have to waste money on? And as a New Yorker, I am gay. Especially when you live in an area that is just so abhorrently expensive to, to no reasonable or logical degree. She got together with TLC, they made the episode of Extreme Cheap Skates and the entire video is greatly exaggerated. Everything is greatly exaggerated. It's for entertainment purposes. It's not to be taken seriously. It's not like a world competition of the most cheap human being in the entire world. This is a Guinness Book of World Records verified I reuse my tampons type deal. It is cheap, but it's not like cut and dry, you know? I'm not a Sith. I don't deal in absolutes. Whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. Say I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. It isn't known exactly to what extent that her episode or really any show on TLC is actually exaggerated, but we can all kind of guess what parts are real and what parts are fake, okay? <laughs> and wh what is based on cues and how they kind of, you know, make your chair smaller so you look really morbidly obese. 
You know what I'm saying? As you can probably imagine, after Kate's video of Extreme Cheap Skates came out, she was hurt by the response to the average viewer, which is not gonna be a positive response. People are gonna be like, why don't you spend a dollar and get it, get a piece of toilet paper, wrap your honey with it. And I believe that was my original reaction too. If my video is even still up, I don't know. It probably got taken down, but people were disgusted by her actions in the Extreme Cheap Skates, as I was I. I used water and soap to clean myself off after okay. going to the bathroom. Your pooper? I take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinated, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. If I took a dump, then I also grab soap, wipe myself down with the soap. And then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. That was incredibly vulgar. She does. What? And that's fair, okay? But people often go too far on the internet, especially uh, in the TLC comment sections of YouTube. It's a cesspool down there. They called her ugly and disgusting. And as someone who outwardly has expressed like a, a lack of self-confidence and, and, and self-esteem and confidence in their appearance, Kate, that is not good for your mental health, right? And it's all sanctioned by TLC, which is incredibly unfortunate. TLC is kind of giving her direction, telling her to do certain things and like saying, hey, do this, whatever. We don't know the extent of to what's fake, but we she might not even be reusing toilet paper. <laughs> Cause that's insane, dude. That's fucking crazy. That's too far. But did she actually reuse it? We'll never know. She signed an NDA. She can't, she can't be honest about that. Legally. Regardless, it resulted in her being called ugly, disgusting, tasteless, etc. Just terrible, terrible, horrible troll type behavior. They essentially ruined her her image, her online image. Her digital footprint is com completely comprised of her and her extreme extreme cheapskates episode of TLC. Which, and also to be clear, I don't know if they made her sign an NDA. I'm assuming they did, uh, because like I would want to defend the fuck out of myself in that situation given such a negative response. Probably like 2,000 bucks, you know, pack of dried cranberries and an NDA is all they gave her. If you're unfamiliar with the original episode, basically what it is, is a expose of very cheap folk, or that's how it's kind of portrayed. How far would you go to save a little extra cheddar, huh? A tiny bit of dough? Mm -hmm. A dollop of the almighty green? Turns out some people go pretty far. I learned a lot, all right? Some people make tea in the bathtub. That's insane. Some people wash their clothes in their toilet. That's freaking nutty. Some people just take the toilet water and reuse it. How? How do you even do that? It goes away. It goes away. But yeah, some people go very far to save a little bit of money. Take me, for example. Ah, I haven't showered in three weeks to save 19 cents on my water bill. All right, I'm getting a bit crusty. I'm getting a bit crusty. In fact, I can smell my gooch from here. <laughs> Just kidding, that's gross. But that isn't, and that obviously is not the point I'm trying to make. I'm not making this about me, okay? And obviously Kate has friends because she's a normal functioning member of society with a house in New York City. She she invites her friends over that are not paid actors by any means. And you know, this is, re I believe this part's real, but it, it's a bit suspicious the way that they're interacting with each other. It seems a little bit. So I came to visit Kate to see her in action. I haven't seen Matt in over a year and I have never met Rose. A little bit suspicious to me, to be honest. Just a t tad bit, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think it's real? <laughs> Last time I did laundry was three years ago. There are those who are stingy. I haven't bought any clothes in eight years. Well, not for $25. I don't use toilet paper. And then there are cheapskates. She's the cheapest person I've ever met. And that girl passes out. I remember that now. That girl literally passes out while eating dinner at Kate's house. I need to like step out for a second. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm like really dizzy. <laughs> It's so weird because she steals food from like trash and stuff. So where did it come from? The trash <laughs> eggs on the street. Oh. It's really insane. This video truly is wild. Also, Kate dresses like a bum to get sympathy. This shirt has holes in it. Yeah, we know. And this is an old crappy pair of shorts. Yeah, we see. It should help me look like a bum. Yeah, that would be great if you look like a bum. Why dress up like a bum? Hopefully um, the store managers will have more sympathy and leave me alone. Is that real? I feel like that part's gotta be fake. That part's gotta be fake. You get $2,000 in a candy apple and you dress like a bum while you're digging through the trash and we can film you, how about that? I think that's probably the real interaction that happened there. I don't think Kate's dressing like a bitch doesn't seem, um, you know, she dumpster dives 
to gather the ingredients to make her her real friends a meal. I guess I'll try a little bit of the turkey too. Uh, I don't know if I want all the rest of this stuff with it. And then the one woman almost passes out, like I said, very fascinating, interesting stuff. And how can I just say that everything's fake when we don't exactly know what percentages are fake? Well, there's some witnesses. Gravit also revealed to the outlet that she discovered how much reality TV is actually real when she filmed for the show. And she claimed that, quote, 90% of what was depicted on the show simply wasn't true. One example she pointed to was a scene on her episode in which she and her family substituted newspaper for toilet paper, which is something she insisted they don't actually do. I don't buy toilet paper. I use newspapers that we get free in town. Some of the people on the show have literally said that it's exaggerated to f Okay, and that isn't even remotely surprising to me. So do you think Kate doesn't use toilet paper or you think that's just something they do because it gets clicks? What do you think? Adding, everything we get from the garden is what we live on. We're a family of four and we live on $1,400 a month. We make our own bread, crackers and tortilla and we can everything. See, now that's logical. That makes sense. That makes sense. Sustaining yourself. People aren't insane. P usually people who are very frugal are intelligent, generally speaking, not people who are just very poor by choice and impoverished. That's like a, you know, that's a completely different thing. But people who are frugal by choice are generally pretty smart. And Kate, for example, like I mentioned, literally owns a house in New York City. That's insane. Writing in the comments section of one blog post about her extreme cheapskates experience, Paige admitted, producers did want me to do some pretty nutty stuff that I wouldn't do, but I compromised. See, Paige seems trustworthy. She seems like a news anchor type woman and they're always very trustworthy. As she revealed some of the things she did on the show, such as counting her children's Cheerios and knocking on her neighbor's doors to beg for leftovers were highly exaggerated. She insisted, quote, I don't don't do that. Yeah, that seems really weird, but also makes sense to TLC, you know? This guy looks crazy too, by the way. Also, any show, generally speaking, any show that, that has this music behind them when they're talking. Kate really wanted to emphasize the importance of sugging on Ds and ligma -ing and also Eatma and Fugma and the other ones. Don't trust them. If they're British and they have that music behind them, it's fucking, you know, generally speaking, this seems right though. This seems okay. There's even an article that said, Extreme Cheapskates ran for three seasons until its cancellation in 2014. During that time, it landed the dubious distinction of featuring of one of 2012's dumbest reality show moments as selected by Fox News. That particularly dumb moment involved Kate Hashimoto, who claimed to not use toilet paper. She won the dumbest moment. I mean, that must be really sad, hard to deal with. That must be fucking difficult, especially if you didn't actually do it. There's nothing you can say. After the episode aired, ironically, in 2013, Kate went on a show called I Am Unbeautiful, which is like a, a kind of a project in which just in general, people who feel ugly or unattractive are interviewed and then they, they kind of share their experience or whatever. When I was a kid, um... Yeah, my mother often told me I was ugly and that I was a big stupid pig. Uh, my mother uh, was pretty demanding and said uh, many uh, mean things to me because she, um, she really wanted me to be the best and she wanted the best for me. She wanted me to improve. It's really interesting and her, her episode is, is especially interesting because it kind of ties into the show and this was all during that time. I'd like to know what Kate's up to now. Uh, I was on the show um, called Extreme Cheapskates um, on the TLC channel. And I just feel that people also took the show way too seriously and attacking me for um, also like the exaggerated character that I played since, um, well, I mean, part of it was true and part of it was just kind of exaggerated in order to make. I'm not surprised that all this shit's fake as fuck though. It really, I mean, you don't even have to do digging. You don't have to do actual real journalistic research to find that this shit is legitimately fake. It's reality TV, who the f cares? TLC is essentially evil. I recommend watching this video. A, a lot of what Kate says is very, makes a lot of sense and most people could probably relate to. And she comes off as a genuine human being and not just a character who doesn't wipe her hiney hole uh, in extreme cheapskates, <laughs> which is good because I don't think she is just a character who doesn't wipe her hiney hole in real life, you know? But that might just be me, you know? A man who wipes his hiney hole very well. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, press the like button down below and watch this video. Thank you all so much. Do the same like the layer of thing, whatever.